Good morning, Phineas High School. Welcome back to another fabulous school year. I'm Astro Ernesto. And I'm Dustin Bourdon. Here at PHTV, we hope to inform you every week about what is happening at Phoenix High School. We bring you the news of the week, highlights from, from our amazing students, and important information. Te traemos las noticias de la semana, lo más destacado de nuestros estudiantes asombrosos e información importante. As well as important deadlines and how to navigate this journey we call high school. So go ahead and sit back, listen up, and find out what's going on this week at Phoenix High. Mr. Schoffler, Mr. Shipley, and Ms. Campbell want to remind all students that they or their students will not be opening the doors by the PE Commons. Once school starts for the day, you need to walk around and enter by the main office. Not only the PE Commons doors, but all exits around the school must remain closed during school hours. This is for everyone's safety. Students who are outside the building need to only enter the building by the front office. If you are caught letting students into the building through the doors that are locked on the outside, you will face disciplinary consequences. No solo en los comunes de PE, pero todas las salidas alrededor de la escuela deben permanecer cerradas durante las horas de escuela. Los estudiantes que están fuera del edificio necesitan entrar por la oficina. Si usted deja entrar un estudiante en el edificio a través de puertas que están cerradas con llave en el exterior, se enfrentará a con consecuencias disciplinarias. Turning to news from the world of PHS clubs now, the Phoenix FFA Welcome Back uh, Barbecue will be on Monday, September 18th at 6 p.m. in the comments. The barbecue is free to everyone and it's a great time to learn and about our opportunities in FFA and to get involved. So if you are interested in FFA, come to the Welcome Back Barbecue Monday, September 18th at 6 p.m. in the comments. Another opportunity at Phoenix High we want you to know about is our equestrian team. Do you have a horse? Do you enjoy equine sports? Want to represent your school doing what you enjoy? Phoenix High School's equestrian team offers a wider range of equine activities, including English and Western performance events, timed events, cow events, and team events. Please see Ms. Rollins ASAP in the art room if you're interested in joining the team. Ms. Rollins needs to know this month what the approximate size of the team will be in order to make the best possible arrangements for athlete for athlete practice starting in November. In addition to interest in the equestrian team, Ms. Rollins will, would also like to hear from those of you who may already be part of a writing program or instruction of any discipline. In the Valley, you might be interested in combining some of our activities with your existing program in hopes of making this sport more accessible to our students. Once again, if you have any questions on equestrian team or equine sports, See Ms. Rollins in the art room. Another great opportunity to get involved in is with our Phoenix High School Garden Club. Garden Club will be meeting Thursdays after school in Mr. Janicek's classroom, S408. If you have questions or want to know more about Garden Club, please see Mr. Janicek in room S408. Speaking of great opportunities and ways to get involved at Phoenix High, check out the Phoenix High School Speech and Debate Team. The Speech and Debate Team is headed up by Mr. Roderick and meets Fridays during lunch. If you are interested in being a part of the speech and debate team or have any questions, please see Mr. Roderick in room in 410. The first Brain Bowl meeting of the school year will be this Wednesday, September 13th at lunch in Mr. Golo's room, N419. If you enjoy competing in trivia competitions and would like to compete against other schools from all over the Rogue Valley, then come by Mr. Golo's room, N419 at lunch this Wednesday. Si está interesado en el Garden Club, consulte al señor Janicek en la sala S408. Si usted está interesado en discurso y debate, ve al señor Roderick en la sala N410. Si está interesado en el Brain Bowl, consulte al señor Golo en la sala N419. Today in your advisory class, you will be selecting an advisor rep who will be a student representative for your advisory during a monthly meeting with school administration. Our associate our associated student body officers and other representatives from other advisories. This role is extremely important to each advisory and provides a student with the chance to be a school leader. 
be sure and advise you today to speak up if you are interested in being your advisory class's advisor rep. Hoy en su clase de asesoría, usted seleccionará un representante de asesor que será un representante estudiantil para su asesoría durante una reunión mensual con la administración de la escuela. Nuestros oficiales asociados de la comunidad estudiantil y otros representantes de otros avisos, este papel es extremadamente importante para cada consejo y ofrece a un estudiante la oportunidad de ser un líder en la escuela. Habla con su profesor si, es, si usted está interesado en ser la, el representante constitutivo para su clase de asesoría. Turning to news now from our Future Planning Center, Financial Aid Night is just a few weeks away. Seniors and their parents are invited to attend on Tuesday, September 26th, starting at 6.30 p.m. in the Commons. This is an opportunity to learn about the process of applying for financial aid, scholarships, and grants for college. Presentations will be held in both English and Spanish. La noche de ayuda financiera está a solo unas semanas de distancia. Las personas mayores y sus padres están invitados a asistir el martes 26 de septiembre a partir de las seis y media de la noche en los comunes. Esta es una oportunidad para aprender sobre el proceso de solicitud y de ayuda financiera y becas para la, la universidad. Las presentaciones se llevarán a cabo de tanto en inglés como en español. Be sure to check out the upcoming events board in the Future Planning Center. Phoenix High will be hosting vis visits from schools such as the University of Oregon, Linfield College, Portland State, and many more. If you're interested in learning about any of these schools, you must sign up in advance. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend the very first Southern Oregon Trade Careers Expo. On Thursday, September 28th, 40 PHS students will travel to the Seven Feathers Convention Center to explore trade and industrial careers. Featured careers include welding, forestry, police and fire, emergency rescue, metalworking, and more. See Ms. House in the Future Planning Center to pick up a permission slip. Juniors y seniors están invitados a asistir a la primera Southern Oregon Trade Careers Expo el jueves 28 de septiembre. 40 estudiantes de PHS viajarán al centro de convenciones Seven Feathers para explorar carreras comerciales e industriales. Carreras destacadas incluyen la soldadura, la silvicultura, la policía y el fuego, rescate de emergencia, el trabajo de metal y mucho más. Ve a la señora House, ve a la señora House en el centro de planificación futura para recoger una hoja de, una hoja de permiso. Turning now to sports news, many of our scheduled athletes events have been postponed or canceled due to the smoke. However, some of our pirate teams had a chance to play last week, and we want you to know how they did. Our girls' soccer team competed last Thursday at Marshfield High School, opening up their season. The girls' soccer team scored four goals to Marshfield zero in the victory and started their season 1-0. and Congratulations, girls' soccer team. The girls' team will be playing today at Culver Field, pending smoke, against Southern against South Umqua at 4.30. Be sure to make your way to Culver Field this afternoon and cheer on our Lady Pirates soccer team. In volleyball action, our Pirates volleyball team played last Thursday, taking on the Douglas Trojans. The girls played hard but fell in a tough game three sets to two. On Saturday, the volleyball team traveled to Cascade High School in Turner for a pre-conference tournament. The results was a second place finish in their bracket. Good job, Pirates Fo Volleyball. <laughs> On Tuesday, the volleyball team will host Southern Sutherland here at PHS. The game will begin at 6.15 p.m. Be sure to go out and support our volleyball team this Tuesday. In football action, our Pirates football team traveled to Marshfield this past Friday to take on the other Pirates. The Pirates of, Phoen the Pirates of Phoenix pat battled hard in a tough played game but unfortunately came up just short by a score of 25-18. to 18. Our football team will be traveling to South Umqua this Friday to take on the Lancers. Good luck, Pirate football. In boys' soccer action, our boys' soccer team traveled to Moala this past Saturday for their season opener. The boys battle, battled hard and found themselves with a 1-1 one -one tie at the end of the contest. On Tuesday, our boys' soccer team will be hosting Brookings Harbor at Culver Field. Uh, the game will start at 4 p.m., so be sure to make it out to Culver Field on Tuesday to support our boys' soccer team. 
Finally, in cross-country action, our Pirate Harriers traveled to Salem for the Saxon Invitational this past Saturday. Our teams ran hard with having limited training time due to the smoke locally and performed admirably. The teams ran hard in the first race of the season with our boys team finishing in 13th place and our girls team finishing in 11th place. Great job, Pirate Cross Country. All right, that concludes our news for today. We have one last section of the show for you, and that's trivia. Every week, PHTV will have a trivia question at the end of our show, focused on what we talked about during the show. If you think you know the answer, write it down on a piece of paper along with your name and the name of your advisor. Cada semana, PHTV tendrá una pregunta trivia al final de nuestro show enfocado en lo que hablamos durante el show. Si, si cree que sabe la respuesta, escríbela en un trozo de papel junto con su nombre y el nombre de su asesor. At the end of each show, we will draw a winner from the previous week who will win a Dutch Bros gift card. Our trivia question for this week is, where do you go if you want to sign up for college visits and see the upcoming events boards for career opportunities? ¿A dónde vas si quieres inscribirte para visitas a la universidad y ver, solo, y ver los próximos eventos de juntas para oportunidades de carrera? Once again, write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and the name of your advisor, and next week you could win a Dutch Bros gift card. Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show, and as always, check out our online platform of uh, phtvnews.com. And for the first of many times this year, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.